hello guys welcome to the first video tutorial on C programming for beginners now the first question uh, which may come into your mind is why you should bother about learning C or why you should uh, care about learning C the simple answer is C is the most popular language in modern times um, so uh, you may know or you may not know that C is the most uh, uh, commonly used programming language for writing operating system. In fact, uh, the first operating system which was written is written in C, which was Unix. And the uh, in the later uh, you know years of C, the Windows operating system and Mac OS or Linux uh, operating system all written in C. Now in modern days all not all but most of the machine are programmed using C for example microcontroller or microprocessor all are programmed using C. So if you are a beginner and you don't have any programming knowledge earlier C is uh, the best you know best language to learn because C is, you can say, the mother of most of the languages. Even uh, most of the other languages are written in C. For example, PHP, Perl, or Python are all written in C. So if you know the C language, you may, uh, you know, it will be easier to understand other language if you have basic understanding of C language. Now, once uh, this introduction is over the second thing is what you need to program C now there are two basic things you need to program C one is the editor editor it helps you to write your code right and second thing is called compiler compiler is a small uh, program or you can say it's a small tool which converts your program to the machine language right because the program or whatever your computer doesn't understand this C program which you write this C program is just the interface of which you were right and it's easier to understand uh, you know uh, programming uh, when you program in C but your computer just understands zeros and ones so this compiler will convert your program which you write in C into the machine language so that it can execute your program so these are the two things which you uh, require now in order to get these two things uh, they, are, they can be uh, you know obtained free uh, in different ways there are uh, different IDEs IDE stand for integrated development environment which helps you to write your code and I'm going to show you how you can uh, install this IDE which is free to use uh, and let's see how to install this IDE first so just open your favorite browser and just uh, search for code blocks and uh, the first link you will see here not this but only the code blocks so search for the code blocks and the first link here you will find is www.codeblocks.org this is the website which uh, host this uh, program called code, code blocks and it's a IDE so you can see the open source cross platform free C C++ and Fortran IDE so C is included in this and why I am recommending this uh, code blocks to you because it's cross platform that means you can get this on Windows, Mac OS or Linux operating system and uh, it's open source so you can get it for free right 
now how to download this you can just click this downloads uh, button here or downloads button here I will click this downloads button here and there are some options which you can download there are there is option to download binary release download the source release or retrieve source code from subversion SVN what uh, link we are interested in right now is this one download the binary release just click this link and in here you will find few options because I will be showing these tutorial on Windows I will install this version Windows um, 2000 slash XP slash Vista 7 or 8 just click this link and then you will uh, see these uh, three options to uh, install one is uh, only code blocks which is uh, the IDE which will help you to write your code second link uh, will provide you the compiler also so just search for the link which uh, has min gw in it okay which is the center link code blocks 13 and when at the time of making this video code blocks 13 is the newest version and just search for this word min gv min gv is a compiler which will help you to compile your program as i, ha I have said so it's including your compiler and editor both and we want uh, this version right so just click this uh, one link uh, either this or this i will just uh, click sourceforge.net link and then it will be downloaded in few seconds and download will be completed in a few minutes because it's not a small file it's 97 MB file so it will take some time to download so just wait for uh, this to download and uh, I will pause the video and uh, I will continue once this uh, file is downloaded and I will show you how you can install it so now this uh, download is complete so we are going to uh, install this uh, code blocks in our Windows operating system I will just click this executable which I have downloaded and then the install will start and it says welcome to setup just click next and you just read the agreement and if you agree just click I agree and click next and this is the location where code blocks will be installed just leave it as default click install and the installation will not take uh, much time it will be installed really fast you can see the uh, code blocks icon here which you can click to open code blocks IDE and you can see uh, it's installing really fast so I don't think it will take so much uh, time to install this IDE and this code blocks IDE you can use it for programming other languages also like C++ or Fortran also so in this way it's uh, really good now if you don't have a Windows uh, operating system you can download this IDE on Linux also or Mac OS uh, also it's available for all uh, these three major major operating systems now it says the installation is done I think and do you want to run code blocks yes I want to run and it will run code blocks and it says uh, something I will click OK and here the installation is complete so I will click next and I will finish and you can see here code blocks is currently not a default application for C and C++ do you want to make it for the as default if you wish you can uh, make it as default or uh, you can leave this so I will just close it for now I don't want to make it as default but in this way you can install it 
now in the next video i will show you how you can uh, create your first c program using this uh, code blocks so stay tuned and please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now